Hi friends, today we're going to create some painted papers. I am not sure how I'm going to do this video today. I'm going to do some talking, I'm going to do some speed over. And so, you know, I'm going to get this card here. I've got my gesso, and I'm just going to start gessoing. I'm going to have some of my papers here. card because I think it's nice and I like the way it leaves marks and that kind of thing. So we're going to do these um, painted papers so we can use them for collage and that kind of thing. And I thought I need to do some. I don't know when's the last time I've done any fun painted papers with you guys. So here are some book papers. Just now I pulled out my Durant watercolors and I'm going to scribble on some of the papers here. This just kind of looks like scribbling and it is, that's what it is, just scribbling, putting paper or uh, color on, spreading it around. You could doodle, scribble, uh, scribble, whatever you want. I didn't do it to all of them, I just tried, played with a little bit and just whatever caught my eye at that time is what I did. This is graphite um, pencil that I'm doing around here, scribbling with here and then I'm just spreading it with the wet paint to move the graphite. paint that I'm using here is Deca Art, and these ones here, the sprays, are the misters from Deca Art, and I'm just using all different types of mediums from Deca Art, the acrylic paints to the acrylic sprays, and um, yeah, so I'm just using that, and I'm also using these stencils that Deca Art carries, and uh, playing with those, so it's a lot of fun with layers, and um, stenciling, painting, finger painting, and that's what I'm doing, just layering it up until I'm happy with the results. It looks like a mess to begin with, but it's a fun mess and I really enjoyed myself with this process. I think I was playing around here for a couple hours and yeah, it was a really, I really enjoyed the process of the whole thing.
sometimes too, even just going over it again with a little bit more paint and making a little thing stick out here and there. And that is the whole process. It's doing whatever you want, whatever turns you turns your imagination on whatever just kind of pops in your head that you want to do you do and after all this it just becomes pieces of paper that you add to your journals to your canvases or whatever you like And now it's just slicing to smaller pieces so you can fit your project and there we go it looks great I love the way it looks and it was so fun doing and nice and relaxing hope you guys enjoyed this project So this is my pile of painted papers that I turn into collage pieces that I can add to my journal. You can use these with strips kind of like gluing down washi tape and I think they might they might have looked a little crazy to begin with but when you see them like this they're absolutely neat. They're absolutely cool and I could still add more paint to them and uh, to blend them into my book more or whatever I want to do. Pieces. Hope you guys like this project, and yeah, don't forget to craft like a duck. <laughs> and.